Let's talk a little more about your childhood in Rat Hollow. You told me a story once about how when you and Lou were little boys, you were outside and you found some money. Yeah, we were up by the neighbor's mailbox there, Martin Johnson's, and we found his money. Well, it was four $10 bills. Now, nobody in the neighborhood had money but, uh, but uh, Martin Johnson and his wife. And I uh, brought that home, and my dad knew where it belonged, so he took it up to the neighbor and gave it to him. And in reward, the neighbor gave my dad one quarter of it, a $10 bill which was an absolute fortune. How old were you and Lou at the time? I don't know. I was probably maybe started school or maybe not. I don't remember. But that taught us my dad could have kept that money. But that's not the way the game of life is played. That's just not the way the game is played. So you don't have to look back and really remember anything. No. Uh -huh. Now at that time, if a farmer could get some work, he hires, get hired by another farmer or whatever, the wages at that time were 50 cents a day. Yes. That to do field work? Yeah, or whatever, manual labor. Yes. What, what kind of uh, chores or work did, did you do around the farm when you were little? Oh, had to feed the cattle or herd the cattle along the road. We'd take them out along the road so they could graze. We didn't have much pasture of anything. No. And, uh, it was just pretty slim picking, but we didn't know any different. Did you have to work with the horses? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember, one time I remember, it was cold and snowing and blowing, and my dad wanted to start the Model T by pulling it, you know. With so, the horse? With a horse, and he put me up on the horse. I was in no shape to get on or off a horse, but he set me up on there, and I was supposed to pull this Model T around to get it started, and I can still, <laughs> see myself up there sitting there bawling and I thought wow what a hell of a way to go through life <laughs> wow yeah and you and Lou hunted and fished yes we did when, when, when did you start hunting did your dad hunt too oh yeah did pretty much everybody in the area hunt oh yes oh yes but I don't know. I suppose I started hunting and rabbits when I was, I don't know, 10, 12. Yeah. What kind of gun did you have? I had a 22 single shot with a peep sight. Yeah. And things are pretty hard to come by. I remember. I had one bullet left. I had one bullet left. I said, I get me a rabbit. So I go up in the Collentine Woods and I spotted a rabbit. I could see him, you know. I was good at it. I see, he was sitting about from here to the wall away from me, this rabbit. And I shot, and I shot right over the back of his neck. And a tuft of fur flew up and he ran away. And I went home empty handed. And another time, Ma woke me up in the morning. There was a pheasant rooster up behind the house. Oh, quite a long ways away. I got up and got the 22 and a bullet, and I shot him dead in a hammer. Oh, yeah. And, 
Anything you shot, you ate. Oh, yes. You and bet. where did you go to fish? In Brazel Branch, right next door. Uh, and what, what kind of fish did you get there? Mostly trout. <laughs> That's a joke, too. We'd have give anything if we could catch a nice sucker or a carp. <laughs> But then in the mid-30s, 35, 6, when it got so hot, most of these uh, trout got killed out. It just got too hot for them. Mm -hmm. But they used to be right next to the springs where the springs bubbled up, you know. But, uh, yeah, but we ate mm -hmm. everything. Yes, yes, yes. When you were a little older, didn't you tell me you practiced some trick shooting? Yeah. What what did you do? Well, I could throw a tin can up myself and then grab the rifle and shoot through it before it hit the ground. And once in a while I would take a mirror and put the rifle over my shoulder backwards. And I would shoot targets like that. So, uh, there again, if I did stuff like that, then I could appreciate someone that was really good at it. And unless you've done it yourself, you don't understand. Yeah. Didn't you tell me once uh, somebody commented about yeah, you and Lewitt were were pretty good hunters and it didn't pay to go yeah. shoot somewhere? Yeah, don't. Uh, why? Them cop boys all have the bird down before you can get your gun up. <laughs> Yeah, we were pretty good at it. 